Mann's experiments in color long ago discovered the pure jeweled beauty of stained glass and the path of light. Helping to revive this almost forgotten art with glass made on the premises are the artists, chemists and glassmakers at a stained glass studio in Wheelstone, Middlesex. Using a full-scale copy of the design, which has been carefully sectioned out, the cutter chooses pieces of glass of the required colours and cuts them to fit the sections. Centuries ago, the cutting was done by running a hot iron along the section lines, a crack following the iron. Today, the cutter uses a steel tool, fitting the pieces together on the plan, jigsaw fashion. together temporarily with beeswax, the pieced together window is then painted. Using a pigment of iron oxides with a ground glass base, the painter picks out the highlights to give modelling to the face. After painting and staining, the glass is fired and finally pieced together permanently with lead. Overlapping surfaces are chipped away, and then when the whole window has been assembled, every joint is soldered back and front. The last process is to cement the grooves of the lead to make the window weatherproof. Finished, it is a richly glowing work of art. Windows like these, wrought by artists of the past to decorate their great cathedrals, are today a tribute to the modern artist and his craftsman. Jeweled, velvet-like examples of man's skill with light and color. Thank you.